Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games. In this tutorial, we will be making a basic environment as well as importing the character package so that we can walk around in our game. So stick around. The Unity Asset Store provides many useful scripts, models, and editor extensions for use in your game. Check it out using the link in the description below. So today, we will be making a basic player as well as an environment for our character to walk around in. Luckily, we don't have that much to do, as Unity provides many assets for free for prototyping and stuff. Rather than having to script our player in all of his complexity, we will simply import the characters package, provided in the standard assets. To do this, right click on your project window and go to import packages and select characters. If this option does not pop up, then go to the asset store by hitting Control 9 or command line on Mac and search up standard assets. Most of the time when you can't find this menu, it's because you haven't installed the standard assets, so that's how you would do it. You just click the download and import and then you'll be good to go. When the panel opens, you'll see all of the items inside of this extension package. Make sure you click all so that you select all of the items in the package. This is so that you don't miss a file accidentally and your entire game doesn't work. If you know exactly what you want to import though, feel free to import selectively, but for now I'm just going to import the entire package. This may take a while as the package is one of the bigger ones included, but after the package is finished importing you'll see a new folder in your project window called standard assets. Whenever you import packages using this method, it will put the files inside of the standard assets folder. Now navigate to the characters folder, go to the prefabs, go to first person controller, and then drag in the rigid body first person controller object into your scene. You can do this by dragging and dropping it onto the hierarchy window. If you hit the play button, nothing will seem to happen, but in fact you are falling through the infinite universe. Our player needs something to walk on. So on your top bar, click create, go to 3D object, and select cube. I'm going to position it using the inspector window and the transform component at 0, 0, 0 on the X, Y, and Z axes. So that it's in the dead center of our game. Then I'm going to scale it to 100, 1 1.5, and 100 on the same axis so that we have enough room to walk around in. But this object is so bland. I'm going to add some color to it. Right click on the project window and go to create and select material. I'll drag and drop the material onto our cube in the scene view and then select the material in our project window so that we can edit its properties. I'm going to change the albedo color to a dark green. This is so that we can actually see shadows and stuff and it'll look really cool. Now I'll make sure that the player is above the cube and then play the seed. I'm going to populate the scene with some cubes and spheres and other objects so that the player can walk around and see stuff rather than just seeing the floor in the skybox. This concludes the tutorial on how to make a player and an environment for your game, but what do you guys think about this? Do you think I've missed something? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what do you guys think about this pace? I tried to slow it down a little bit today, just want to let you see if this is better or worse than my previous tutorials. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video sucks, you know what to do, but if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch, as well as our Discord server. All those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.